you know it's funny because most fortune 500 companies still struggle to have the impact that they're capable of on their social platforms and there's not really a reason for that I mean personally I think I think small businesses entrepreneurs they have you know they're, they're eating fortune 500 companies lunch in, in that department there's, there's no doubting it entrepreneurs they know they just know how to wield this amazing web of communication and so I thought today I'd write about one of the most important pieces about social media now as we're going through this I want to acknowledge um, that managing your social media presence can feel can be really overwhelming you know being an entrepreneur juggling plates uh, on a daily basis is is no small task I mean I know this I'm so I'm getting I, I'm not being unrealistic here so if you weren't in a place to afford a social media manager one of the things that my clients look into is hiring um, maybe a college student to help help out with this and there are a few internships at some colleges some may be government funded so I always recommend bonusing them out at the end of their term or your time with them or letting them know that there's going to be some incentive financial monetary incentive to, to do this I think it's important to value their knowledge and there are people who are majoring in college in um, university in marketing or journalism and they would love to get their hands on a pers a professional account um, like yours for their for their CV so don't diminish the importance of this opportunity for um, an intern so let's draw, dive into a few tips and resources that will help you leverage the full power of social media and mostly today I'm going to um, be looking at uh, the most important pieces of social media management and one of the challenges especially time-wise uh, re the real challenges with entrepreneurs to is to put their best foot forward in the in the social media and this is content dealing with content we call this content curation um, so what we're really thinking about when we think about curation of information is what goes in addition to your your blogs and, and articles and your videos I'm, I'm, I'm not really suggesting that this is the only thing you do I mean, people want to hear your voice and they know your brand but the truth is that finding high quality relevant content to share on social media can be really really time consuming so don't worry I mean what you need to do really is to just try and make it easier to create a content curation system that works for you so I'm going to try to cover that um, in this article so we start out by keeping a list of all your favorite let's call them thoughts leaders in social media so that you can share their content and of course it's it's all rel relative to what you believe and what you teach I mean what I coach um, my clients with and you can retweet these leaders tweets and share their posts on on the other platforms and of course on that list are people who may not be not be famous by any great stretch of the imagination but they're thought leaders in their industries or who share um, your work in in common as well as what it makes it makes for a nice piece of reciprocity with um, your clients when you when you send them out these kind of um, thoughtful quotes from from leaders and, and things so I mean there are a few tools that can help you build your own system for these I currently like uh, Feedly now I mean you can gather all your favorite news sources on Feedly and then browse them every morning to to find relevant useful content to share and use as an ins inspiration for creating your own content too and um, one of the one of its helpful features is it immediately gives you an idea of what's most shared on any given day with a number of 
of other shares being shown right next to each headline so you know what's popular and then you can see you know you can see we're already what's maybe trending and and form your own opinion and, and then go ahead and jump on the first thing in the morning without having to do any research at, at all you know, except just that and um, another tool that you can use is called unroll.me now those those newsletters that you get they can really deliver some hidden gems um, so these, these are newsletters that that come through via unroll dot me and they come in a ready made form so they can be tweeted they can be pinned they can be instagrammed so they're packaged they can be facebook you know whatever so onroll.me might come in handy in this case and what does it what it does is it, it gathers all your newsletters um packages them neatly so instead of letting them lay empty in your inbox it gathers, it gathers them all in one place to deliver in kind of all in one bulk email so it's easy to browse now there are quite a few brilliant tools that recommend you know that I recommend recommend content that you can share on your social media platforms and it's content that's relevant to you because that's really important at your audience and one of them is called sway um, with with two Y's at the end and the other I like is called groupiest they're both tools that can you know I'd recommend and they recommend relevant content that you can tweet you know based on the community that you build there and the topics that you tell them beforehand that you're interested in so they're really helpful as a source and if you really want your content to go viral or even just to get say recognized it's important that it's you use a visual aspect so once you use these tools and you find all this amazing content then it's time to make it really really shareable by being visual um, because I mean research shows that visuals are processed 60,000 times faster in the brain than text so that really explains the superpowers of visual content especially when it comes to social marketing you don't have to be a, a professional on video editing or design or anything like that I mean don't worry about that um, I mean, we have at our access nowadays at our fingertips social platforms like vine and Instagram and either one of those these can um, create fun short videos that can be easily shared on Facebook or Twitter now Oreo that's a um, American brand as in the Oreo cookie and I think uh, that's a great example of a brand that makes the most out of their use of vines on their Twitter feed um, so it's, it's useful to find um, brands like these I mean if you were to check out Oreo on Twitter and check out their engagement because it's it's very high this is a uh, um, brands like these that you can creatively emulate and it gets lots of retweets and comments and, and things like that um, another one I like is is Canva um, you, I mean you've got to use it I mean it allows you to create professional looking images for social media in less than three minutes or something like that um, the best part is you don't have to worry about the size of your images or anything because they're built in templates that you can you can write over I mean, you can just add the picture or you can add text whatever you want to do um, and another um, kind of way of conveying information is through infographics I mean they're great you can create some of um, these with picto charts and you can do that in a real you know really quick couple of minutes so now that you've got some ideas and some resources you know let's j just take a look at the frequency uh, because frequency is important now buffer.com will help you um, deliver your posts in a timely fashion they'll help you time your posts so you can just preload posts and preload say retweets and everything like that and their research shows that you want to post on Twitter a minimum of three times a day and you know not to worry you can you can Hootsuite or use Hootsuite or another content manager to preload as far out as you like but Facebook is 
a maximum of two posts I believe and then LinkedIn is a maximum of two posts um, Google Plus maximum of three and then there's Pinterest a maximum of five and Instagram at least at least once a day so you can go a little deeper in Instagram and get a little crazy there if you want to because that's part of the fun there so I hope this helps you think of some tools that you can put into your planning and your development of your content because that's the very first thing that's going to make you really you know get really really noticed and get you really noticed on the social platform and I hope this gives you a little food for for thought about your social media